you know, cartoons and anime TV shows, they're interesting. They're interesting little shows that you grow up watching as a kid. Teen Titans, SpongeBob SquarePants, Jimmy Neutron, Fairy God Parents, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Dragon Ball Z, Pokemon, My Gym Partners, A Monkey, and so many others. There's a lot of other ones I can think of, but you know, those are just all the ones off the top of my head that I thought of, that I can remember, that I actually really watched and loved as a child. There are a lot of... I even remember... even remember Danny Phantom and a few others that I really enjoyed as a kid. But... Why am I talking about anime TV shows, you guys may be asking? Well, well the subject of today's video is going to be about something that I feel should be a, an anime TV series. If not, maybe its own animated movie. But anyway, let, 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 I will tell you guys a story about something that made that inspired me to make this video. It was around about... I think about 2018, 2019, I'm not really 100% sure when this game got released. A game named Cuphead was released. And it was a, and it's a very popular game. It's a very popular game. People love it. People, people have loved the game. Personally, I've never played it myself. I never played it myself. I've just seen a lot of people play it. And it looks a very challenging game. If you've never heard of if you've never heard of Cuphead, just go and give it a little old Google search on a good old Google, or just type it in on YouTube, and you will find it. So my main thing I wanted to, to the main reason why I'm bringing this up is because this game about two cups got its own TV series called The Cuphead Show. And apparently they're three seasons in by now. And the reason why I wanted to bring this to your attention is because this game never once made it look like it could become its own TV show. Now I know that may sound a bit weird and why you guys would probably think, well, yeah, of course it didn't really make it look like that. It became very popular, which is why it became a TV show. Okay, well, if we're going to use popularity as, as that example. So, anyway. Anyway, the reason why I'm making this video is because... I feel... I feel... There should be another... Uh, there should be another game that should be transmitted into its own TV show. But... I'll give you guys my quick thoughts on the Cuphead show. I have seen a few clips. I've seen a few clips of it. Back when it, when I first heard about it, I watched a couple of clips on Netflix because that's where it's on, and I can't tell you guys I was impressed. I mean, graphically it looks great, but it wasn't. It just didn't look like it was for me. Now, some of you may be saying, "Well, yeah, you've never played the game, so of course you're not going to feel attached to the characters." It's not that I'm not attached to them, it just makes me think, when I watch the show, it makes me think, why is the main protagonist a dummy, and why is, and, I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't know, like, I just never really, really dug it through the five minute clips that I saw when I was looking it up. And I know there's a lot of people out there that do like it, because considering that it's three seasons in, it, it must be very popular, considering it must be incredibly popular and people must like it for it to have three seasons. But anyway, let's get on the topic of this video and why I'm making this video. The topic of... the topic story here is why I feel Shantae 
should have its own TV show. Now, you guys are obviously aware of who Shantae is. You guys have seen my streams and let's plays of, of the Shantae series games. But if you guys are not aware on who Shantae is, she is a half genie hero who kicks a pirate pirate's booty named Risky Boots and goes around and saves saves Sir Quinn Land and she's the guardian genie of a town. So why do now me personally I think an anime TV series about Shantae would be very, very good. And there's already one particular hint to could tell you that this game that this could easily become its own anime TV series. Now Shantae and the Seven Sirens is the easiest best example we can use here. Once you start up the game, you get an opening 30 second cutscene. Like it's an anime TV show. Like it's like it's an anime TV show. A 30 second opening like you would get in Pokemon, like you would get in Dragon Ball, like in every every kind of show. You would get like an opening montage of what to expect. On, from that show. So, Shantae has its own animated opening, which is really, really cool. And then throughout the game, you will get cutscenes. Throughout the game, you'll get cutscenes like it's an actual TV show, and obviously you'll get small cutscenes of the bosses before you encounter the bosses, but then you'll also get cutscenes like we're going back into an anime. I personally feel this game must have been them teasing that they could potentially turn this into an anime. But the game came out in 2020, and we are in 2023. But you know, the most confusing thing about the Seven Sirens release is Google says it came out in 2019, while when you boot up the game, it says 2020. So I don't know what to believe. Should I believe the game that it comes out in that it came out in 2020, or should I believe Google because it came out in 2019? Well, either way, it's been three or four years since that game's been released, and when Shantae had its 20-year anniversary, I was hoping we were going to get something. Maybe like an anime TV show, maybe an animated movie, or even a newer, even a new game like a Shantae Six. Um, it's very, very weird. And also, how? And also, some of you guys have been wondering how the hell do I know we've been the sixth game? Well, count how many games there've been in the series so far. You've got Shantae One, Shantae Risky's Revenge, Shantae and the Pirates Curse, Shantae Half Genie Hero, and Shantae and the Seven Sirens. That's five games. It's not. It's not hard to count. It's not that difficult to count how many there have been already. I feel they could easily do its own anime series. Like, you could, like... I've played all the games up to this point, and people have said that the games explain the entire story in its full detail. Which, I can partially agree. I've played a few of the games, and I, can, and I partially understand everything. And mostly understand a lot about the games. Shantae gets fired by her boss so many damn times for doing the right thing. But, 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 Shantae 1 is supposed to be the beginning of how everything all started. My question is this. How did Shantae get her job? How did Shantae get the job of becoming the Guardian Genie? That is something I feel the anime could explore if they started up its own TV show. One other thing they could explain is how does she meet Bolo, how does she meet Sky, when does she meet Roddy Tops, when, when does she meet Roddy Tops, when, when did her and Risky Boots first meet up? I feel they could easily explore some unanswered questions that you couldn't really answer in the games. I feel they could easily explore so much about the show. They could do a movie based off of the Seven Sirens, and if that goes off well, they can start up a TV series. Basically, basically starting from Shantae 1 to Risky's Revenge, Pirate's Curse, so on and so forth, and it would feel, it would feel natural. And then you can do like, 
and you can explain how things work. How did Shantae get her job? How did she enroll for the job of becoming the Guardian Genie? When did she and Risky first meet? When did she meet Bolo? How did she meet Sky? It's kind of those kinds of things that I think that the games never really explored. Like, they never really said, how did she ever meet these characters? Now, some of you would be saying, well, playing all the games will definitely help you fill those answers. The question is, I'm already in the middle of my first shant in the Shantae 1 playthrough, and, sh and apparently they already know who Bolo is. And Shantae already knows who Risky Boots is. So again, so again, the first game doesn't really answer the question of when did she first meet them. But, I, I just feel, with the cutscenes from Seven Sirens, you could easily, easily do it to a TV series. Or just an animated movie. I, I'm, I'm telling you guys this, if they did something with her in theatres, like an animated movie in theatres, or an animated TV show on Netflix, I would bloody watch it! I would bloody watch it, because I think it would be, because I think it would be intriguing. There is a lot of things I think they could really do. They could, they, they could really do with it, with, with its own TV show of this game. It's such missed potential. And the main reason I made this video is because I feel like Cuphead, no disrespect to people that like the Cuphead show, to me, I just don't think Cuphead really feels like a TV show. I, I didn't really buy into it as a TV show. Some other people may have, but I personally just not really a big fan of it. But I just think Shantae would be way better. You could explore so many. You can you could explore so much things. You could give some backstory behind each character. You could give backstories behind every single character, from Bolo to Sky to the Mayor to Risky, even to even to some of the outer villains like the Ammo Baron and the Squid Baron. All that you could give backstories to everybody. You could give backstories to different characters, and and I feel it'd be very very intriguing. So that is why I feel Shantae deserves its own anime because I think I just think it'd be really enjoyable. I think it would I think it would do well. I think it would do well. I think people would really enjoy it, especially those that love Shantae. Those that love Shantae would absolutely love this would love a TV show about it, an animated movie. I just think it has a lot of potential. And it's a shame that so much potential is being wasted by Wayfall. But that's just my personal opinion. And that's going to wrap up this video. I'm going to wrap this video up here. You guys let me know your thoughts down below if you guys would like to see a Shantae anime TV series or movie. And be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and let me know of your favorite TV shows growing up as a kid. Let me know down below, and I will see you all. Be sure, be sure to like and subscribe as well, and I will see you all on the other side.